Good morning, Cancer. This is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be your reading for April 2023. So we'll see what's going on for the month of April for Cancer. This is for all Cancer placements. And if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate right away, make sure to take a look at your other placements, Cancer, okay? Okay, let's get into it. Let's pull some energy. Okay, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow, beautiful. So there's something coming through for you, Cancer. Beautiful energy. If you're open to love, I feel like love is coming. All right? Okay, and let's pull an angel card. Let's get some more energy. What's coming in for Cancer, April 2023? And then we'll take a look at the tarot. Okay, we have Moon Cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations. And capitalize upon these cycles. Okay, so, you know, notice the moon cycles. Usually in the moon cycles, there's a time of release. You know, you're releasing certain energies and new energies are starting to begin to flow on the moon cycle. So take notice of how your body reacts, how your emotions react, you know. Notice how the moon cycles affect you personally because we all get different effects from new moons um harvest moons you know blood moons so forth so make sure to take a look at those cycles so that you can see how things react in your life okay uh, let's take a look at some more energy for cancer <clears throat> Okay, we look at this. We have regeneration, number 46. So there's something that's going to be rejuvenized. Something is going to be regained here. You know, you're going to have some kind of regeneration of uh, something that may have been bothering you, bugging you, some kind of challenge. Some, something is going to be started over right um there's a sense of this beginning this may be this true love that's coming in here but i feel like there's there's something that is getting ready to begin something is going to be regenerated you may have more energy you may have more focus more drive right um so I think that's really great, Cancer. Okay, let's go ahead and see what is going on. First of all, let's see what's going on with Cancer and love. What's going on in your love life? Tell me more about Cancer's love life in the month of April. Tell me more about Cancer's love life in the month of April, please. Tell me more. The Phoenix. Look at this. A new phase. There's a new phase. This, this is what's going to be regenerated. Your love is going to be regenerated. Your um, love life in general is being regenerated. There's a new phase starting for you. This is growth. Renewal. Okay, so that may be due to this true love that's coming in for some of you. Okay, but I feel like for the rest of you, this is going to be a growing period. There's going to be, you know, a lot of growth in your relationships if you're already connected. Um, there's going to be a feeling of renewal. Uh, you may be rekindling certain relationships, right? Um, so that's beautiful energy here. And we have passion. 
So I feel like this is also, April is going to be a very passionate time for you as well. I feel like if you're meeting someone new, I feel like the chemistry is going to be intense. There's going to be a fire between you, right? Um, I feel like, you know, things are going to be very fast moving, the passion. You know, fire moves fast. It doesn't stay in one place. It doesn't kind of kindle for a long time. It grows, right? So I, I feel like whatever this new phase is in love, I feel like this is going to be very exciting, very new, very passionate, very fiery, and also very sexual, right? Um, because passion is sexual passion is sensual okay so I, I feel like what april is bringing to you is a fire a passion something that's going to be renewed so if you are not connected i feel like this is someone new who's coming in who is making you very passionate about your situation who's making you very lively about a situation it's very exciting very exhilarating okay so i feel like that's coming in for you cancer beautiful energy let's take a look at the tarot tell me more about the tarot please <clears throat> tell me more about the tarot Look at this, Nine of Cups, beautiful. We have the Knight of Cups, the Chariot. Oh, things are going to be moving for you. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Oh my. We have the Moon and the Page of Cups. Wow, wow. And the Judgment Card. Right. Okay, Cancer. So here's the thing. There's there's something at the bottom, something that you don't expect, which is completing its cycle. It's ending. There's something that's going to be, you're going to be done with. It's over. Um, and I feel like that's pushing you into this new cycle, this new beginning, this new adventure, right? Um, so there's something that you are releasing you are letting go of but i feel like it is pushing you into this very fulfilling stage right you're pursuing your dreams something is coming forward for you that you may have wanted for a very long time you may have really dreamed about this moment and this could also be you having everything that you need at this time right feeling very content feeling very loved cared for okay and i feel like there's also an offer some kind of proposal some kind of person who's offering some kind of gift to you some kind of proposal it could be a um a gift of love of course with this cup it could also be something that you love something that you really have wanted that you'll really cherish okay so this may be the career coming in that you've wished for that you've hoped for right um, but I feel like it is it's gonna be something that you've really wanted right it's something that the universe is saying you've been on your path you've been going that steady way that steady path right and now this offer is pushing you to the next phase okay you're you're on your path you're in the right direction you're moving forward and i feel like you're moving forward into this new beginning with a lot of new thoughts a lot of new beliefs a lot of new ideas that are coming forward you have clarity on certain situations that you may not have had clarity on before but i feel like this is a new beginning of thinking different things okay and i feel like you're moving you could actually literally be moving too um for some of you i feel like this offer 
is leading you to a move. Maybe you're moving closer to the one that you love or you're moving closer to that job or, you know, but for some of you, you're literally moving. Okay, you're literally changing destinations. Okay, now I feel like with this moon card, I feel like you are on the right path, but I feel like there's still some kind of mystery that needs to be solved. And that has to do with this cup because you may have more than one offer, Cancer. I feel like this is a love offer that you didn't expect. So there may be more than one person coming forward for you in the month of April. You may have more than one person who's attracted to you, who wants to get to know cancer better, right? So I feel like this is a mystery. This is a mystery that will be solved because they're going to offer you that cup. They're going to ask you out on a date or give you some kind of sign, some kind of flirting that you know they're interested and they want to get to know you better this is their cup that they're offering to you that they want to for you to to accept okay but i feel like this is something that's very unexpected this is something that you had no idea of but this is something that will be revealed to you in april right now i, I feel like the the whole month of april i feel like the whole month of april is full of renewal kind of taking you out of your comfort zone and moving into new things. And I, I feel like, you know, this is something that you may have been waiting for for a while. You've been waiting to be kind of pushed out of that comfort um, because I feel like you may have been procrastinating for a while on doing something that you have your mind set to do. You've been kind of putting it off. Well, now's the time to get get moving cancer the month of april this is taking you out of your comfort zone to go to someplace else right to take yourself to a higher level a new phase and this is renewal this is a fresh hope that's starting okay you have more drive uh, more energy but it's pushing you out of your comfort zone for a reason maybe you've been stuck for way too long or maybe you've been putting this off for way too long okay so april is now the time right okay let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarity for these cards and i apologize for my sinuses it's raining outside and it's nasty and yeah my voice is just not up there where it's supposed to be so please forgive me cancer i still love you please love me right so let's go ahead and clarify these cards okay what do we have for cancer for april 2023 give me a message for cancer to clarify these cards what do we have okay yeah the the ace of wands wow the queen of pentacles Woo. the four of cups we have the five of swords and the star card wow wow and look at this cancer there's that new journey that new beginning that you know leap of faith that we were talking about yes yes i love when the cards really speak in and i'm able to really uh, let you know what they're saying in a very precise way because i feel i feel really confident and energized because i know spirit is working with me you know I, I love when i can interpret spirit's message the way that it's supposed to be and i hope i do a good job you know right so this is confidence for you and i right cancer so yeah this is a new journey that you'll be going on this is an possibly a new destination but i feel like you're following you're just following the lead of the universe you're not worrying about where it's going to lead you this may be this this judgment card that you need to get out of your comfort zone and just get moving just start pursuing that thing that has been on your mind right just follow with faith take that leap 
okay? You don't have to have all the answers. The fool doesn't have any of the answers. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know where he's going to end up. He's just following where the universe tells him to go. The universe has pointed him in a direction and he's like, yeah, I'm there. I'm on my way, right? So, and I feel like... I feel like you may not have all the answers at the moment, Cancer, but I feel like you are taking the initiative. You are taking action, right? Because we have the Ace of Wands. This is inspired action, new creative ideas. This is a beginning of a lot more energy, a lot more drive, the feeling that you need to get something done, right? And this is also just fire, passion, you know? Um, and I feel like it's taking you into this. Whatever action that you'll be taking today is going to take you into more stability tomorrow. It's going to be taking you into more um, a feeling of satisfaction, of having what you need right this could also lead to increase that is going to you know uh, boost your abundance here right some kind of increase from maybe your career your job um your relationships in general the the pinnacles doesn't always mean material gain it all it also means your health your family you know, the, those worldly things, right? And whatever is here on earth, you know, is grounded with the pentacles, okay? So I feel like during this time, you may feel more grounded. You may feel more balanced, but you're definitely, whatever new beginning this is, this is a solid new beginning. This is something that's going to lead to something greater, Okay, so have a lookout for that, you know, and don't lose your focus here. Don't lose your focus with this Four of Cups energy. You know, he's sitting there, he's meditating, he's thinking about what his next move is going to be, right? And in some of these cards, they're feeling kind of stuck, kind of bored, kind of unfulfilled. But see, he's meditating, He's thinking about his next, next move. He's kind of contemplating where he's going to go next. Okay? So I feel like you are, you're on that path of discovery. And you're moving forward in a very good way, Cancer. So I'm loving this for you, right? Now, with this moon and this page of cups, I feel like this unexpected offer, this offer that is going to come in as a surprise, I feel like it has you kind of on tilt, right? Um, there may be some kind of drama that's behind this offer. There may be some kind of conflict, some kind of dilemma. You know, um, it could have to do with the first offer that you were giving. Maybe those two people are kind of going at it and arguing and, you know, fighting over you, right? <laughs> you know, that's just a thought. But, um, yeah, there's going to be something. There's going to be some kind of drama that is going to be because of this offer but I feel like this offer you had no no idea about you didn't know this offer was coming and um, I feel like you're gonna get through this five of swords energy very quickly this drama is gonna dissipate this isn't even something to worry about this is just a conflict um, but it's drama nonetheless but you're gonna have healing it's going to pass. You're going to find your balance again. And you're going to be the star of your own show, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, you, you're you moving through this energy pretty quickly. So I wouldn't be worried about that at all. But this offer is leading to some kind of argument, some kind of disagreement. 
some kind of drama uh, due to this offer that's being given, right? So, um, I don't even know if we need to clarify that. Let's see. Let's get another card just in case. <clears throat> yeah, someone's going to speak their truth. Someone's very curious about the about you. And I, I feel like, okay, here's the thing, Cancer. I feel like with this Page of Cups and this Moon card, I feel like this person may have been watching you for a while. This may be someone who's kind of stalkerish, right? Um, that could be the reason for the drama. But I feel like they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. They're very curious. Um... And that may be the reason why this drama is coming through. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. I feel like this person who's coming in with this offer, with this second offer here, I feel like this person may be a little needy. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's something to take a look at. Okay. So, let's take a look at some love tarot. Give me a message for Cancer for April 2023. What messages do we have for Cancer? <laughs> what messages do we have for Cancer, please? Okay, the Nine of Thoughts. Yeah, there's something going on here. Stop being so hard on yourself. Turn your thoughts towards the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will help a, re a solution. Excuse me. Know that... I can't even read today. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights and anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Okay, so there's some kind of anxiety that you may be feeling sometime in April. Um, I feel like, you know, all of this that will be happening, I feel like it's moving really fast. And you may not be ready to move really fast. I know how you kind of procrastinate and, you know, kind of put things off. <laughs> I know, I know cancer. There you go. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, it may push you into leaving your comfort zone some kind. Sometimes can feel a little anxious, weary, you know, fearful. Uh, but you, you'll be fine, right? We have the three of action. This is the three of wands energy. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes and move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary, right? That's this chariot card, you know? So I, I feel like you are going to be traveling, you're going to be moving, you're going to be, you know, just, just moving on your path in the month of April, okay? And we have embraced those around you. Okay. This is... <clears throat> this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. Making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you. And share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out something new. Okay? Very interesting. But I feel like this reading is, is really coinciding a lot. Um, it's really meshing together. Okay? At the bottom... We have the Eight of Abundance. This is a time of learning and of honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars or topics on, that fan, fascinate you, or educate yourself on healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs, make a career move. The key to success in the detail. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. 
okay and i apologize i can't read today but yeah it is what it is <clears throat> okay let's go ahead and get a manifestation ology card okay we have assessed the situation so yeah take heed to what you're jumping into right know the ins and outs and go deeper so take focus right um that is virgo and scorpio energy so um yeah when you feel like you went deep enough you know go a little bit deeper start meditating start thinking about new things okay um, because i feel like it's going to be very helpful for you okay it's going to help you feel more grounded it's going to help you feel more balanced okay and we have summer you're going to be taking a lot of action but also cancer some of the things that you may have been manifesting those things are going to start to come into fruition okay those manifestations are going to begin to start to show themselves right so i feel like summer is a big time for you because you're taking a lot of action you're being busy you are really motivated um you're being very thoughtful at this time right um so i feel like it's very it's going to be a very exciting time for you going into summer okay so let's get a moonology card we have your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn wow keep moving and personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer there you are cancer okay showing up okay so and i feel like the answers are coming they're coming but whatever you're putting whatever energy you're already putting into the situation i feel like it's working out for the best something good is happening here in the month of april and i feel like it's all going to start unfolding you're going to get you know this new passionate love here you know and this is true love this is something new coming forward right so this is a new beginning for some of you this is brand new you know you may not have met this person yet but in april this person becomes more visible in your life right so that's very good news for cancer and i feel like for some of you cancers doing these readings i feel like for some of you you've been longing for that someone new right you've been waiting and i'm not going to say patiently waiting because i don't feel like you've been very patiently waiting i feel like you have been waiting and contemplating about that person coming in okay your angel number we have seven 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 i love these cards you know i want to use these cards every time i do a reading because these are just beautiful okay and if you're not sure do a little more, bit more research on what that number means but seven 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 alignment your progress is recognized and alignment is here it is within your reach the whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you your gifts are being recognized okay your affirmation cancer i blossom and bloom as i use my gifts all things simply align as i as i feel the feeling of the divine okay so i feel like spirit is surrounding you you have that protection and that alignment okay so cancer now if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads um, if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. And um, also take a look at my merch store.
store down below. Be mindfully beautiful. You know, and, and it turned out really beautiful. I love this. And I have several things down there. Bags, notebooks, cups. Yeah, take a look at my merch store. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. All the love. But be mindfully beautiful here, okay? And until your next reading, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Love and light.